it would be nice to be able to capture oscillation in a model because there are a number of different systems where the thing that we might be interested in is basically periodic. For example, uh, a person's heartbeat or the rhythm at which a firefly flashes um, or even, you know, your body has a circadian cycle that's on a, maybe a 25-hour cycle and jet lag kind of pulls you out of sync with the solar day and that's a problem. Even neural activity can be thought of via oscillation. You could think of the spike of activity and then the recovery back to the original state uh, readying you for another spike and a recovery back to another state as a type of not necessarily periodic oscillation. It would be nice to have extremely simplified 1D models that can capture the idea of an oscillatory process. And, however, we know that actual oscillation can't happen when our system is the real line. But what if instead of thinking of our system as the real line, we instead thought of our position along that real line as telling us about a phase angle. So now when I'm at zero, that's here. And when I'm at two pi, that's here again. This feels almost like a little bit of a cheat. My angle, theta, can simply increase monotonically in time. And yet, if I think, of, if I interpret it via its position along this circle, I'm actually able to capture an oscillatory process. If you're not familiar with the idea of a phase angle, think about it via the phases of the moon. Think of the new moon, when you can't see the moon at all, as corresponding to an angle of zero and being the beginning of the 29-day lunar cycle. A quarter of the way through the cycle, we're seeing a, a waxing half moon, then halfway through the cycle, a full moon, three quarters of the way through the cycle, a waning half moon, and then all the way through the cycle, we're back at the new moon and we would repeat. On the phase line, our angle would simply be increasing the whole time. So at this point, new moon, half moon, full moon, half moon, new moon, half moon, full moon, half moon. However, we'd interpret this via position around this circle. In that way, we're able to use a 1D system to encode a model of oscillation or of a periodic phenomenon.